Once upon a time in the foregone decade of the 1970s, a little boy and a little girl were born because they were babies. The boy grew up alone and had to bear the brunt of a lot of adversities that he could not understand as a child, but he picked up the nickname Bad because everyone thought that he was wilder. Now she, on the other hand, had her share of issues, but will always fall asleep with a smile on her face, optimistically looking forward to the dawn and the old day to be erased. After surviving their childhoods, mixed with their fair amounts of pleasure and pain, the two lost souls found their way to each other during the millennium on a day that it rained. Not succumbing to the fear of Y2K, it seemed like fate was on their side and everything was okay. You see, he had already sired three children from a previous marriage and she bared the beautiful souls of three offspring to encourage. They became a blended family and had another child together on a stormy night during the apex of the winter solstice to their sheer sweet delight. All was fine in this beautiful family of nine until tragedy struck and all the seven children began to act up. Frustration mounted with the couple as their bundles of joy did things that they forbade. The kids terrorized each other over the PlayStation, time in the bathroom, and who would drink the last of the Kool-Aid. The eldest of the children, being a preteen at the time, established his dominance and said that it is all mine. The eldest daughter, who was always used to having her way, denied his doctrine and said, No freaking way! A war of wheels began in the kitchen and sprawled into the living room over great flavored sugar water. This home may be doomed. Back and forth they tumbled as the younger children scattered, but were secretly plotting against the others to see who really mattered. Child after child jumped into the fray as they punched, slapped, and pushed to get their way. Even the baby, at the mere age of two, crawled into battle, biting everyone's ankles as the battle grew. Now the parents, who were trying to make love in the bed, had to cease and desist and come out and raise hell instead. The father, a large, strong stature of a man, was upset as he stood firm and held his mighty belt in hand. He immediately got every child's attention as his wife surveyed all the damage coming from the kitchen. Plates were broken, chairs turned over, and the dining room table was upside down. The children shook in fear as the father began to frown. It's not my fault, the children yelled as they pointed to each other, knowing that they all would lie. Looking for the truth, the father didn't even bother. As each child threw their sibling under the bus, the mother grew angry and began to fuss. The father calmed down his wife and told her to sit down as he prepared himself to give his kids a monumental beatdown. Hand raised in the air and the belt glistened in the light. The kids scattered very quickly because their hearts were filled with fright. One after the other, the father caught his children with the sting of his leather belt. Their butts were seething and the pain was felt. Once he finished, there was calm in the air as the father looked at all of his kids and told them to come here. The father said that our money dwindles fast as we sacrifice for you. How dare you all split our happy home in two. The father stood again and pitched a heavy fit looking at all the damage done, knowing he will go broke in order to fix this